All right, guys, and welcome to module 5.9, usability factors. And in this video, I want to talk about usability versus the design of a website. Now, I'm sure that you guys have gone online and seen some absolutely beautiful websites, right? You go on there and it's high quality, crisp images. There's sliders everywhere. You're, you're scrolling down and it's just this beautiful, magnificent experience, right? But does that actually convert? Does this actually equal sales? Now, what I want to go over and tell you in this video that the answer is usually no. <laughs> Having these big, beautiful sites with all of these sliders and amazing things inside of it does not always equal sales, guys. Now, and I can tell you this for certain because I have personally seen some drop dead ugly sites like i'm just i'm just being honest here some extremely just you would take a look at it and you're just like wow how does this thing make sales and there are stores that do six seven and eight figures every single month now how can that be right how, how do these websites that just quite frankly just do not look that great how do how are they generating these sales and the best way that i can explain this is that they are using usability over design they are focusing on the the experience in a product centric way as in they are focusing on the product as opposed to all of these you know big slides and images that take up the page they're focusing on what the customer is actually there for which in in our hopes is to be to purchase a product so we want our websites to be product centric not really image rich and image centric. That's great for a blog or something like that, but we're trying to sell products here. So we want to be product focused. And so in order to do that, I want to tell you about some usability factors that you can use on your site to keep in mind as you're building your store to optimize your website for conversions. Um, the first usability factor is page speed and load times for your store. Now, Every single second that it takes your store longer to load is a second that you are losing sales because I'm telling you guys right now, attention spans are going, are decreasing and decreasing every single day. There's, you know, the, the common nuance that, uh, we have the attention span of a goldfish or goldfish have, um, a higher attention span than we do. Now, I don't know what the, the truth is to that, but I can see it around us every day because it's hard to even hold a conversation anymore without somebody getting distracted. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, you know, saying those types of things when you're trying to have a conversation with them, it's hard to keep people engaged. And the same thing goes for when people are browsing the internet, people will hit a page and they'll be on it for, you know, a couple seconds even. And if that page doesn't load all the way or something happens, they, they might just back out. Right. And so every additional second that, it the page takes to load is another potential second for a very impatient impatient customer to just leave the store altogether and never come back so what we want to do is make sure that we are having great page speed and load times and how we can do that a few different ways is by having one an excellent theme we want to make sure that we're using a good theme that is quick that is optimized for page speed and two, we want to be making sure that we are compressing our images and making sure that everything is obviously as high quality as it possibly can, but that we're not losing space in certain places by having super large images or anything like that. And that's an easy way for us to be able to do better than our competition is to be able to increase our page speed and load times to make sure that we are retaining the customer's attention and getting the best chance to make a sale. So another thing that we can do for usability is making sure that we have easy to find products and best sellers. Basically, we want to be showcasing our products directly on the home page and make it easy for customers to find them. We don't want it buried. Uh, you know, our best selling products or products that we're trying to sell, we don't want them buried underneath, you know, all these sliders and images that where you have to scroll three quarters down the screen or, you know, down the page to be able to find them. We want them 
to be found very easily to give us the best chance for the customers to actually see these and click them to make the sale. Because ultimately, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get them to click on these products. We're trying to get them to make the sale. It doesn't really matter how nice it looks or, you know, it doesn't help us when they have to scroll through all of this information that they're not even looking for. Um, another usability factor um, that we want to make sure that we're doing is having our navigation menus optimized for shopping. Now, so many times I go on websites and I'll look in their header bar um, and I will see just random stuff inside of the header bar right up at the top where it's not product centric, it's not focused on the product. Now, this is something that we can fix easily and we can make happen, but we wanna make sure that we're not making this mistake. Like for example, having our social media icons right next to where the menus are. We shouldn't do that because it's taking attention off of the main things that we want our customers to focus on, which is our products, right? We want them to go click through our products and check out. And any sort of um, obstruction there um, just really delays the sale and makes it so that they may click something else. It might distract them to the point that they may not click on the products. We want to make it as easy and streamlined as possible for the customer to be able to go from the website to a product page to the checkout. That's our funnel. That's everything that we're trying to accomplish. So we want to make sure that our navigation menus are optimized for shopping, meaning that your collections should be in the menu items, all of those types of things. We don't need to have um, our policies in the main menu. We don't we don't need to do that sort of thing. The important policies are in are on our product pages and then they can also be in our footer menus. We don't need to have those right inside of our main menu. That's not something that we need to do. Um, and again, adding to that, um, a usability factor is easy add to cart and checkout process. Now, we want to make sure that our add to cart buttons are shown prominently on our store. And when we were talking about um, conversion optimization for your website and talking about add to carts, we want to make sure that it's a contrasting and easy to read add to cart button. We want to make sure that it's not blending into everything else or that it's difficult to find. We want the add to cart button to be very easy to find. You shouldn't have to scroll down the entire page to find the add to cart button. It should be right above the fold content that's easy for the customer to find. And then with that being said, we also wanna make sure that the checkout process is seamless. And again, we can easily test this by going onto our stores or go onto your store and place a test order, you know? you can go through the entire checkout process and ensure that everything is seamless and easy. And if there is something that, you know, you're just like, man, this doesn't seem like it's quite right, then that's where we can make improvements. But we want to make sure that from start to finish, from the add to cart to the checkout, um, that everything is very easy, um, easy to understand and seamless for the customer to perform a checkout. And another usability factor that we want to make sure this one's very important as well. We want to accept all payment types because we have to remember guys, like we, we have our own payments that we're comfortable paying with, right? Like I'm sure you have a go-to payment where you're just like, if they offer it, then I'm going to do that. It might be a credit card, might be a debit card, might be PayPal, could be Amazon pay, Google pay, Apple pay, right? We want to make sure that we are offering all of these options. Or what if the customer wants to pay in chunks, right? This is another very common question. Um, something very easy to implement on your store is checking out with PayPal credit. Now, PayPal credit allows the customer to pay off within six easy payments interest free. Now, you are paid up front as a normal order, as everything else would be, except the customer gets to pay in six easy payments. Now that's something huge that if your competitor is not offering that you can offer to set yourself apart. And it also makes the usability factor much higher for your customer. Because again, we have to be in the mind of our customer and what they're comfortable using. And so that's an example of a usability factor that we want to be applying to our sites. Mm -hmm.